That's Charlie right there, the young owner of Ducati Detroit. <laughs> exactly how you need to have your bike configured and set up to ride at the middle Ohio sports car course in the intermediate advanced and novice groups we're going to tell you exactly what tech inspection is all about so here at the middle Ohio sports car course some of the control riders have double duty they actually actually check the bikes out to make sure that they're uh, specced up and ready for the track morning how are you so once they do that, they sign their initials to their sticker to let them know that this bike has made it through tech inspection. What exactly are you looking for, tech inspection here at the Middle Ohio Sports Car Course? Um, mainly make sure you know the throttle doesn't stick. My biggest concern is make sure that nuts, there's a nut on the bottom of this of this lever. Mm -hmm. If that's off, then the, the brake lever can fall off. Which sure. Is bad. Yeah. And always make sure that there's plenty of life on the tire. There's plenty of Plenty of pad left in the in the uh, on the on the rotor okay. on the brake brake caliper. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, yeah. After a while, the. Okay. The pads get too thin and doesn't dissipate the heat properly. The brakes brakes fail really bad. Yeah, for novice, you know, really novice is really, we don't really check too much because the level of tech's a little lower than the regular brakes. I think it's intermediate advanced. But, sure. But yeah, he's he's got things safety wire, which is great. Uh, we always make sure the good weights are taped because those things come off and they hurt. Okay. And not to mention the, the vibration is pretty rough. Yeah, in this case, we're probably going to need to put more tape on there because you don't want the people behind them seeing the brake. Absolutely. You know, hit the brake and it confuses people. Yep. You got to put right. more tape on there. More more tape on there, or or better yet, you probably pull the fuse out or whatever. Yeah. And also make sure there's uh, like he needs he needs more wheel. wheel. We got to put a tape on these uh, wheel weights as well, Mohammed. We always make sure there's enough slack in the chain because if the chain's too tight, then the, the suspension will actually use the chain as a spring. Okay. Instead of that, it'll one ruin your sprockets and make the handling really, really weird. Right. <laughs> yeah. So Mohammed's got his uh, work cut out for him. His bike's not really ready to pass tech inspection just yet. We've got to do some more taping. Tape right there. Yep. So yeah, that's what we look for. Just make sure we keep everybody so. safe. All right, everybody, it's my first time riding in the advanced group. I'm gonna be riding with my good buddy, Mike, 2M. He's gonna show me the ropes in advanced. We're both on Yamaha R1s. I'm on the M, he's on the S. We both have brand new tires. He has Dunlops, and of course, I have Bridgestone RS10 tires. So needless to say, this session, we're not going out to wage war. We're just going out to, uh, Scuff our tires up a little bit. Brand new tires out here. Not trying to do anything crazy. First time in the advanced group. And also this track is very, very slick when it's cold.
in the flesh with my good buddy Miles. He's on his beautiful S1000 double R. I met Miles a few years ago. He was in Cleveland just riding around and we went on a ride with him in the uh, metro parks and then he moved to Florida. Thank goodness he's not in Florida right now. Thank goodness because, he's not in Florida right now. Yeah, the freaking hurricane's there. But take a look at this beautiful S1000 double R, tracked up and ready. Beautiful bike. He's got his tire warmers on it. You guys, are you going out in the first intermediate to run here? We're going to go out in the first intermediate run and take it kind of easy. Let's try to follow you a little bit. <laughs> okay. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Beautiful. First time here, excited to run the track. Oh, you're going to love it, man. Once you learn those lines, take you a couple sessions, if that. This is going to be one of your favorite tracks, I'm sure. Awesome. All right, everybody. This will be our second session. I'm with Superstar Mike 2M. And we're both on our R1s. We're about to head out here. In the advanced group, I got the bump, and I'm so happy today to be riding the advanced group. I'm going to be riding with my good buddies over there in that other garage from Ducati, Detroit, and we're going to be riding behind Mr. Chris Fillmore Sr. on his Ducati Superleggera. If you're not familiar with Chris Fillmore Jr., he is the winner of the Pikes Peak Challenge this year, and he did it on a KTM. So we're going to be talking to him about that a little bit later on in the video. But for right now, I have the pleasure and privilege of following a brand new 2018 Ducati 1299 Superleggera. want a rear end at the track, trust me. The bill for that that I'd have to pay would be astronomical. Again, this is his first time riding his Superleggera on the track, so he's going to take it easy. even smells great. The fumes coming out of it. I know that sounds weird, but it's the truth. Honest to goodness. So I just had an awesome session in the advanced group. I was riding with my good buddies from Dakota, Detroit. Mustafa, how are you doing today? Scott bumped to intermediate. <laughs> nice. Bad, I guess. Nice, man. Yeah. Congratulations. 
So you're going out with the next group of intermediate riders? Yeah, right? I was with the intermediate last group, and I'm going to be this group again. So awesome, hopefully man. Hopefully, keep the rubber down. Yeah, man. And you aspire to get your racing license, right? Yeah, hopefully one day, man. Yeah, Probably cool. next season if I if I keep progressing. So. Well, guess what? With a beard like that, anything's possible. <laughs> All right. I got. I'll keep the beard. You please do. <laughs> All right. So Chris will be pulling up here any moment on his uh. Ducati Superleggera. He's got track fairings on it. That's why you won't recognize the orange color that's normally on the bike, but still, it's a remarkable bike. I rode behind him a couple sessions. He's really fast out there in the advanced group. How many owners of Superleggeras do you know ride their bikes in the advanced group? All right, here we go. We're going to be following my good buddy Mike and Ryan on his R6. And my good buddy G's behind me, or right next to me. On his beautiful anniversary edition R1, he had an RSV4 last year, and he uh, swapped it out for that one. Here come the Ducati guys, and there's my good buddy Chris Fillmore Sr. And you might know or might recognize the name. His son, Chris Fillmore Jr., is a 2017 Pikes Peak champion on a KTM motorcycle. And here he is today riding his Super Legera on the track at the Middle House Sports Car Course. You might not recognize this motorcycle because he took the stock fairings off, the beautiful orange Ducati fairings, and replaced them with track fairings. Pretty smart thing to do. But this is in fact a Super Legera sold to him by my good buddies Charlie and the gang from Ducati Detroit. Charlie doesn't like to be on film too much, I can understand that. But Chris, what's up, man? Thank you for this pretzel under there. <laughs> oh, oh there. Yeah. Wow. Look at that exhaust, man. Full titanium. Beautiful, a crap of thick exhaust. Full carbon fiber wheels by Blackstone Tech also known as BST. This bike is just amazing. And he's got some special uh, cool things on it here. Everything about, about this bike is just super cool. This is 1299 Super Legera number 71 out of 500. And there are the gauges. Very, very nice. He's going to stop back here in just a second and chat with us for a minute. That's a great tire. SC1. That's the Pirelli. Yeah. I'm not doing it justice. <laughs> I think you're doing great out there. I was trying to follow you for a little bit out there on the track and you're doing great. You get, any, you get any of the sound of it? Oh, the sound is intoxicating. I, think Almost I am a musician. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to be a musician yeah. with an exhaust like this on a Super Legere. <laughs> Just a great bike. How does this compare to your uh, Ducati 959? It's a lot more powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, it turns in a little quicker, a little mm -hmm. easier. Mm -hmm. um, but the power delivery is completely different. Where the 959, you, you kind of sometimes want more. Sure. And this. You know, I'm short shifting all the way down that back straight. <laughs> yeah. I might not have the right gearing either. But. Well, it's, I mean, you're doing great out there. You'll see in my footage of him on the track. I'm trying to follow him for a little bit, and I was, I'm, it's hard to do. Let's talk about awesome, your son. Yeah, man. Let's talk about your son, man. Congratulations on him for winning Pikes Peak this yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah, on a KTM of all things, right? Yeah, yeah Super yeah. Duke. 1290 okay. Super Duke, Duke R. It's his favorite bike. Yeah. He just loves the upright position in the bars, and sure. it's a lot of fun. I think we're going to have to try one of those. Absolutely, man. I'd love to. Yeah. I mean, that's one of my favorite bikes. 
It had all the tech that's packed in that bike with the uh, keyless start, auto yeah. blipper, cruise control, and everything else. It's a great bike. But when did he get started in riding? When did you start him out? How old was he? He was about, I think, eight or nine when okay. we started riding dirt bikes in the in the gravel pits yeah. near our home. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I shattered both my ankles. I built up two oh. supermoto bikes. Sure. And uh, then shattered my ankles. Had the two supermoto bikes sitting there. And when he was 15, he said, Dad, can, can I try them? And uh, we went to Road America uh, for a track day, see how he would do. And then he entered in a race the next day. And uh, Mitch Hansen from HMC K KTM came in and said, how long has he been riding? I said, uh, since yesterday. And he was no, not here. I mean, how long has he been riding Supermoto? I said, since yesterday. Yeah. And uh, he podiumed right away. And in his first pro race, he took a third. Wow. Yeah. And Remarkable. KTM decided they better put him completely on the team. A smart move. Yeah. yeah. So we got our start in Supermoto. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we raced for Kawasaki one year and um, not very competitive. And part of the deal was we'd get a couple of sport bikes out of the deal. Yeah. And so we made them into race bikes, and we went racing that year. I don't remember what year that was, maybe 2008, 2009. Okay. Recession, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yep, that uh, was around that time. He did pretty well there, and that's how he got into the road racing. That is amazing. Yeah. And that's how, a great story. Why did Pikes Peak? I have no idea. I'm still a little disappointed. I was a little upset with him. Yeah. <laughs> it was nerve-wracking. Wow. It's not like a circuit race where you're sure. going around in circles and you say, oh, it's been a minute, three seconds, he should be coming up by any second. Yeah. He just ta he takes off and that's it. He just, yeah. It's gone up the mountain. So you don't know what's weird, going you know, on. You know what's yeah. Going. Yeah, you don't know. So there was helicopter footage, but... It's not quite the same. Not the same. Yeah. yeah. So well, excellent. Yeah. Well, send him my congrats, man. I'm really, really happy for him and happy for you, too, to be out here riding your Super Legera and uh, the guys at Ducati Detroit do a very good job servicing your motorcycle, I'm guessing. Yeah, Did they prep it for you? This they, thing. they track prepped it for you? Yeah. Nice. I love these safety wires. They put on the brakes and everything. Those guys are great. My uh, my Pinagalli R is there right now getting some service, so I know those guys are really good. Yeah. So, well, thanks, man. I'll let you relax now. Thanks right. for talking to me for yeah. a minute, man. Yeah, take care, yeah. man. Thank you. That's Charlie right there, the young owner of Ducati Detroit. And just look how he supports his customers. He comes out to their track days. He helps them out, provides, provides assistance, sets up their bikes for them. If that's not great support from an owner of a business, I don't know what is. One savage. Oh. Jixxer! 
for now, but I know he's coming back. I gotta keep that jigsaw away from me. It's gonna be tough. I can't do anything about Mike, but I want that jigsaw. He's behind me. this section and this section exploit them to keep them away huh. I know he's back there huh. I can hear him huh. ah that was horrible turn all right Third to one. Uh, uh. Uh. All right, come on. Come on. Oh, Jackson's back there. He's back there. This is the stutter way. That's the Jackson that's done away. It's supposed to help. And I just defeated him. Yeah. I just stutter away. I just got. Oh, okay. That's an older Jackson. But I beat stutter away on the track just now. I'm in the advanced group. Stone away rides an intermediate. Uh, I own Stone away on the track. And R1 Kelly. He's a non factor. And neither is 10RD. I own them. Those men belong to me. Uh, come on, come on, boy. Come on, little boy. There we go. Come on. Come on. Some guys are back there. I know it. I just got to keep them away from me. The Jixxer's back there. Okay, so I'm going to be behind my good buddy Chris Fillmore again. Chris Fillmore Sr. On his Ducati. Super Legera. He's over there with the Ducati Detroit guys. Dismounting it from the stand. You might not notice, but the Super Legera does not have a kickstand. So, once you dismount that sucker, it's time to roll! That's exactly what Chris is about to do. Mike, 2M is right there, and guess what guys? If I didn't mention this a thousand times already, I'm in the advanced group. Here we go.
our amazing day at the Middle Ohio Sports Car Course on September 11th is over. But take a look at this stunning Super Legera 1299 once again. The stock carbon fiber fairings were removed and track fairings were put on this motorcycle, but it does look beautiful. Loaded up to the pickup here for Ducati Detroit. Awesome, 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 awesome bike. So we got the Bobby Ray Hall BMW Racing Team is here at the sports car course. You can hear them warming up one of their vehicles. We're going to go over there and take a look and see what they're up to. That's not a normal M6, not by far. wraps up another fantastic track day here at the Middle Ohio Sports Car Course and you can see why it's called the Sports Car Course. It's those beautiful BMW M6s that my good buddies tell me uh, are using the same engines that are found in the streetcars are practicing here for a big race going on here in California. So I guess they're based out of Columbus and they're going to do some practicing here at the Middle Ohio Sports Car Course and then head down to California to race. Totally, totally awesome. So yeah. If you like the video, hit the like button. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking subscribe. New videos are always uploaded to the channel. Stay tuned for more. And as always, thanks for viewing. We're going to get the heck out of here again from the Middle Ohio Sports Car Course. See you next time.